God damn it, Animal Crossing, I already have the Ocean Sunfish. Give me something different for once. Hello everybody, this is Brave Sir Robin coming to you from Parts Unknown, here to talk to you about SummerSlam, which airs this upcoming Sunday. I'm taping this on Wednesday, right after the SmackDown spoilers have uh, been released. It don't look like any new matches have been added, so I figure it's safe to talk about this. So let's give a look and see what I think about the matches and who I might end up winning them and what storylines are going on at this time. I'm looking on Wikipedia right now. It's not listed, but based on what I saw on Raw, we saw the Shield give an open challenge to any tag team to challenge them for the titles. And based on what we saw on, on Raw, it look, looks like it'll be Mark Henry and the Big Show. So that's what I'm assuming is going to happen. Even with that happening, though, I still think the Shield will retain, probably by some shenanigans and that way. I don't really want to see Mark Henry and Big Show as tag team champions, but, so I hope they keep it on the Shield. So I would like for them to win. Also on uh, the pre-show, we have Dean Ambrose versus Rob Van Dam for the U.S. title in the SummerSlam kickoff show. I think for this one, this could be a pretty good match. Too bad it's stuck on the pre-show, but I'm looking forward to that. Somebody's talking to me. I'll ignore that. But uh, I think it'll be pretty good. We've got Dean Ambrose versus Rob Van Dam. I think what's going to happen is to set up further matches between the two. Dean Ambrose will retain by some sneaky shenanigans, end up getting like a cheap win or something, and set up for him and Rob Van Dam to have uh, like future matches down the road or something. So for this particular match, I think Dean Ambrose will win, but then he'll keep fighting Rob Van Dam later down the road. Maybe have a little feud or something. So on actual pay-per-view now, we have Natalia with uh, the Funkadactyls, Cameron and Naomi, fighting Brie Bella with Eva Marie, Eva Marie and Nikki Bella, her sister. It is cool to see Natalia on pay-per-view. I mean, she won a match on Raw, too, which was pretty cool, even though I had a completely botched ending, but whatever. I think this one, even though I don't like them, they're probably going to have the Bellas win. They've been shoving them down our throats lately. There'll be some sort of sneaky shenanigans going on, and they'll end up getting like a cheap win or something, and then you'll see some comedy with like Hornswoggle and Great Kali there too, and I don't know. This, if there's a match they can bump, it'll probably be this one. God damn it, Facebook. There we go. So that's the match to probably get rid of if they could, but whatever. I'm not a big. F I do like Natalia, but as anybody knows, I'm not a fan of the Bellas, so I don't really look forward to this one at all. Also, in a mixed tag match, so we have actually two different matches involving the Divas, sort of. We have Dolph Ziggler and Caitlyn versus Biggie Langston and AJ Lee. This is a tough one too, I think. I think I give this one to Dolph Ziggler and Caitlyn just to put the feuds behind them now. I think it's time to move on from that. They'll get this last final win. It's pretty much the last thing they can do now, and that'll put an end to this feud finally. Should be pretty good though. AJ Lee's really coming into her own now, and I'm sick of seeing her fighting Caitlyn, but you know, maybe they can move on to something else after this. I had enough of Dolph. I do like Dolph Ziggler, but I had enough of this particular feud. It's time to move on past it, so for that, the faces should win. So Dolph Ziggler and Caitlyn. Then in a Ring of Fire match, which is not an Inferno match, difference is in an Inferno match, somebody has to get lit on fire. This one, the ring is just surrounded by fire to keep the other members of the Wyatt family away. We have Kane versus Bray Wyatt. This one, a few just started. They're just starting out, so I think Bray Wyatt should end up winning. Even though the ring is surrounded by fire, there'll probably be some shenanigans with Luke Harper and that other guy, Rowan, I think his name is. So that, I think that's what will happen. They'll have Bray Wyatt win the match. and. Kane's usually good for putting people over anyway, so I think that will have Bray Wyatt win just to make uh, him look stronger. Also in a singles match, we have Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow. I've really been enjoying this angle, but uh, it's pretty good. We, uh, I think for this one, I think Cody will win just to get his revenge on Sandow, and then they'll move on from there. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with Sandow from now on, too, though, where he's got the money in the bank briefcase. It is a good little feud for him maybe have, and maybe I'll have a couple more matches with Cody, but I still think Cody will win. Maybe they'll do something later with a gimmick on the line or something. Probably do something where the briefcase is on the line, but I think Sandow should keep it, though. But uh, it shouldn't be a bad match all the same. Both guys are good, and I've been enjoying the angle. Also, in the World Heavyweight Championship match, we have Christian versus Alberto Del Rio. And they're building this as one more match for Christian. Uh, it looks like he's getting ready to wind it down, which is too bad. All the same, I still think Alberto Del Rio is going to retain. I don't think Christian's going to win the title. It'll be a good match, though. But I just think, I mean, because Christian already won a match on Del Rio on SmackDown, so that pretty much gives away that he's going to lose on the pay-per-view. That's usually how that works. So I think Del Rio will retain against him. Which is, you know, it'll still be a good match. It'll be a nice defense for him to fight against Christian. So I got no complaint about it.
Now in a singles match, we have CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. The match is called, they're billing as the best versus the beast. It's funny about this match, a lot of the complaints I've seen online are people say, talking about CM Punk being so small, they don't think it's going to be a good match that he can have with Brock because it won't be realistic because that's what pro wrestling is about apparently. But you got to remember, Brock Lesnar, one of his best matches was with Eddie Guerrero, who was much smaller than him, so why wouldn't he have a good match with CM Punk? All the same, I think for this one, they'll probably, again, like I said about some other guys, to set up future matches down the road. I think Brock Lesnar will win after some shenanigans with Paul Heyman. It'll be a really good match, though. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. This is probably the one interested me a lot. So it should be pretty good. I'd like to check that out, too. Now, the main event, we have John Cena versus Daniel Bryan in a singles match where, of course, uh, this Triple H had to involve himself, just like 2011 when Punk was getting popular and the Triple H had to show up and inject himself. Exact same bullshit now where uh, Daniel Bryan's starting to get popular, so now Triple H has to show up at this match and be part of it because, you know, everybody was looking forward to it. Asshole. But either way, John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. They're really hinting that Randy Orton might be cashing in for this match too, but um, I'm just going to, for the match itself between John Cena and Daniel Bryan... Usually I don't like to bet against Cena. Usually it's so obvious he's going to win. I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan to win, though. I think that would be pretty cool. The rumor is that they're going to have Daniel Bryan win and then have Orton cash in. That would be interesting. Maybe just a solidified the heel turn or something. Or Either way, one of the two is going to be is looking like... That's what they seem to be building up. That one of, Because Vince McMahon doesn't like either of them, he's going to get Orton on his side and have him cash in against them and then have him be the corporate champ. I think Daniel Bryan will win this match and then uh, go on to have Orton cash in against him. That's where the build-up seems to be going. Then again, maybe they won't do that because it's so obvious, but for the assumption here, either way, even if it's only for a night, Daniel Bryan at least gets to be the WWE Champion brief briefly. Plus, John Cena seems to be injured too, so maybe that's a lot of why. So there's my thoughts for SummerSlam. I don't think I've missed anything here. So just like I said, it should be a pretty good show. I'm going to check it out. It is a nicely built-up pay-per-view for once, so it should be worth checking out. So until next time, here's Brave Sir Robin signing off.